At the Salahiyya public bath in Aleppo, Abu Muhammad recalls happier times. He sings the tunes of centuries past to welcome new customers and returning familiar faces. This was my profession before the revolution. I was in the bathhouse during the revolution, and I will also die here in the bathhouse. Aleppo is the place where my heart and soul want to be. This bathhouse, as well as my home, was bombarded. If someone is to die, it should be at home or in a bathhouse. Before the Syrian war, Abu Muhammad operated four bathhouses. He shut them all down as Aleppo turned into the battleground it is today. He's now decided to reopen one in an area controlled by the opposition. He says it's his way of carrying on despite the daily bombardment. Threatened with death, he's trying to live. Others share that sentiment. I swear we are happy. We haven't seen such a bathhouse in liberated areas for the past five years. This is a heritage of Aleppo, and to have hot water in such a crisis is something great. Festivities mark the social ceremony for a man on the eve of his wedding. Such gatherings at public baths have always been a feature of life in Aleppo. They had all but disappeared as fighting intensified. Now, Abu is keeping an ancient tradition alive in one of the world's oldest cities, and its citizens hope they stay alive to enjoy it. Gerald Tan, Al Jazeera.